Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Matter Dimensions. So, um, it's been a day since the last recording, and I'm going to buy two time theorems, and then I'm going to respec, and then I'm going to change my build to this. I'm going to um, go time dimensions, and then idle, and then... Wait, wait, I, that, that was a mistake. Um, so I'm going to go... Time dimensions, idle, and then like that. Because after you can afford it, time dimensions plus idle plus 171 is better. And so, um, it's just a waiting game. We want to turn off our eternity auto buyer and just let it go for long runs. So it's sort of what we did in part 56, except now it's a little bit of a better time to do it. And we're going to fill in these last four studies as we go. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys, um, after. I'll see you when we, like, see how we do in this run. So, yeah, see you then. Oh, and one more thing before I see you. I want to see what I can buy with my eternity points. So I'm just going to max all my time dimensions. Um, and we are almost able to get this. So yeah, I will see you guys um, in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back a few hours later. And as you can see, I've done a lot of good progression in this run. So I'm going to buy some time theorems. And I'm going to do a crunch so I can get another time theorem. And I think I'm going to buy this 100 billion times multiplier on all infinity dimensions. And that's going to give us a nice... Um, boost. So I might even be able to get my replicated galaxies, and because I have a huge multiplier on my infinity dimensions, I might even be able to get a bigger boost. So yeah, see you then. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got all my replicated galaxies now, and as you can see, I have over E600,000 antimatter, so I can buy another time theorem. And I could actually um, try to keep going with this run, because this time study here gave me a good boost, so I'm going to um crunch again. But the thing is, um, I don't really know if it's worth it. I think I'll just crunch and then eternity. I don't know if eternitying is worth it either because the thing is, all we got is, is one new time study. So I think that pushing this run might actually be the right thing to do. So yeah, I will see you in um a little bit. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see I have over E3100 infinity points and E620,000 antimatter. So I've already bought my time theorems, but now I can get this. So um that's going to help. And I'm going to eternity here. Um no, not eternity, infinity for even more infinity points and then I'm going to eternity. And then I'm going to get this. You gain five times more eternity points. And then um, there's nothing else I can buy. So I'll just get that. And so I'm just going to work on with my time theorems. Getting the rest of these. And then I'll have a full tree. And then we're going to prepare to do eternity challenges. Because we're sort of going to start getting close to that. So. um, Yeah. So. There's nothing else we can really do other than another long run. We just have to do a lot of these. Um, so, yeah. Um, I will see you guys later. Bye! Wait, so um, I'm actually not going to end the episode. I'll actually see you when um, we've done this run. So, yeah, see you then. Okay guys, I'm back again, and it's been a few hours in this run, and I can eternity for two quadrillion eternity points. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to buy... can't buy anything here. I can almost get this, which is cool. Your achievement bonus affects time dimensions for ten quadrillion eternity points. I'm going to get time dimensions. So I was planning to get um this, this, and I could get like... Um, time theorems. 
and then you could get like that and then that and then that. So yeah, that's pretty good. We are almost at a full tree of studies, at least up to here. So yeah, um, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.